Good Monday morning and welcome to Logan County Breakfast. I'm Brian Cooper and with me here is my lovely wife, Lindsay. Good morning, everyone. I will start us with our daily verse. Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. Isaiah 41, 10. Beautiful. Today we've got an inspiring story to kick off your day, a tale of kindness, community, and the power of coming together. We'll get into it right after this brief message. Welcome to Penjamo Mexican Restaurant, where tradition and community come together. For over two decades, Penjamo has been more than just a place to dine. It has been a pillar of support for Logan County. From sponsoring Little League baseball teams to hosting unforgettable graduation parties, Penjamo has been there every step of the way. At Penjamo, they take pride in nurturing relationships that last a lifetime. Their commitment to the community runs deep just like the flavors of their authentic Mexican cuisine. Join them tonight and experience the warmth of Penjamo, where every meal is a celebration of their rich heritage and enduring community spirit. Penjamo Mexican Restaurant, serving Logan County since 2003. It's a heartwarming story about a former news reporter who recently organized a fundraiser to help a 90-year-old Air Force veteran finally retire. Let's dive into this incredible story. Karen Swenson, a former news anchor from New Orleans, was out one day when she saw Dylan McCormick, a 90-year-old veteran, pushing carts in the parking lot of a grocery store in Louisiana. The temperature was a sweltering 90 degrees. It was a scene that stopped Karen in her tracks. Dylan, who served in the Air Force in Colorado and Greenland, shared with Karen that he needed about $2,500 a month to make ends meet. But his social security checks only covered half of that. That's why even at 90 years old, he was working in such harsh conditions. Karen, deeply moved by Dylan's story and the dedication of the silent generation hero, decided to take action. She created a GoFundMe campaign with an initial goal of $35,000, hoping to help Dylan retire comfortably. In her GoFundMe instruction, Karen wrote, He is a veteran of the United States military. It's Memorial Day. It's hot. Mr. McCormick was born in 1933, <clears throat> making him part of the silent generation. Please, America, let us be his voice. We can do this. And wow, did people respond. Within just 24 hours, over $200,000 poured in from a private donors. Eventually, the total surpassed 2000 No, no, no. 233000 and Karen had to close the donation button. It was an over overwhelming show of support. In an update on the <laughs> GoFundMe page, Karen wrote, no longer will the 90-year-old veteran have to push shopping carts in triple-digit heat to put food on his table. Should he choose to remain working, it will be just that, his choice. What an incredible outcome. Karen also mentioned that they would begin the process of transferring the funds to Dylan, ensuring he can enjoy his retirement without financial worry. This story is a beautiful reminder of the power of community and the impact we can have when we come together to support those in need. Thank you, Karen Swenson, for your compassionate action, and thank you to everyone who donated. Absolutely. Let's all take a moment to reflect on how we can make a difference in the lives of others, just like Karen did for Dylan. That's a beautiful story. Mm-hmm. Two hundred thirty-three thousand dollars. Yeah, and she just wanted thirty thousand. You know, that's, well, that's that's all he needed was thirty thousand. Yeah. Wow. But what is a silent generation? Um, the, I guess the people born in the thirties. They don't really. Oh. They don't complain about their problems. Oh. Yeah, that's true. They don't. I know what I, I wouldn't be pushing cards if I didn't have to. If I was 90, can you imagine that? Here's a look at today's weather in Logan County, sponsored by Baker Shelter Insurance. Today, partly cloudy, high around 100 degrees. Oh, it's going to be a scorcher. Tonight, mostly clear, 
low near 77. Well, whose birthday is today? Let's have a look. Today is Eric Sidden's birthday. Happy birthday, Eric. If you see Eric today, be sure and wish him happy birthday. You can submit birthdays to us via Facebook Messenger or by emailing us at contact at coldcreekmedia.net. Happy birthday, Eric. Good morning, Todd. Good morning. Stick around for our Logan County Breakfast Daily Trivia Contest right after this brief message. Step into tranquility. Discover handcrafted treasures from around the world. Indulge in the finest loose leaf teas, where stress melts away and curiosity blooms. Experience serenity. Call or stop in today, Eurocopy Bee Tea and Gift Shop. Find your moment of peace. Greatness doesn't happen overnight. It takes time, focus, and dedication. At Shelter Insurance, we understand that because we put in the hard work and dedication for decades. And that commitment has paid off with award-winning customer service for your auto, home, and life insurance. Visit shelterinsurance.com and find an agent to help you choose the coverage you need. Shelter Insurance. We're your shield. We're your shelter. Contact Baker Shelter Insurance in Booneville at 479-675-2782. Today is Farmer Day, or Dia del Campesino, is ce as celebrated in Peru on June 24th every year as a tribute to hardworking local farmers that provide food to, to the table of every Peruvian. Observers celebrate this day by holding agricultural fairs, cultural displays, and of course, the sharing of food. Yeah. In today's culture, it seems we have a day for everyone and everything. We think that it's fitting to show our appreciation to this nation's farmers as well. We wouldn't be here without them. So happy Farmer Day to all the farmers out there. Yes, absolutely. It is now time for our trivia. Where were Doritos invented? If you know, leave a comment, message us on Facebook, or email us at contact at coldcreekmedia.net. As for Fridays. What is the name of John Travolta's character in 1977 film Saturday Night Fever? Todd knew this one straight away. Tony Monero. Good job, Todd. <laughs> That's right. Did you put our faces on there? <laughs> I love it. Oh, I was wondering what you were doing yesterday. Oh, okay. That's good. Well, thank you all for joining us this morning. We hope you have the best day ever, and we'll see you tomorrow morning. Have a blessed day, everyone.